Welcome back to another how-to video for using Google Sheets to do basic descriptive statistics. One in the last video, uh, you saw how to find the mean median mode. Um, and so you can see these are already calculated. Notice we're looking at the three bedroom data here. Uh, the mean is 992, the median is 982. And the mode, we using the mode mult command, found out that there's two modes, 991 and 1027. So the next three things we're going to find is the standard deviation sample, the coefficient of variation, and Pearson's second coefficient for skewness. So standard deviation sample, again, we're going to initiate a formula by typing equals, and then start typing standard deviation. And we want the standard deviation dot S, that's sample. Okay, and we want to select, drag and select the cells that contain the data we're interested in. And then we can hit enter. And boom, there's our standard deviation sample, rather long, so we're going to round that off. Now, the coefficient of variation is the ratio of the standard deviation to the mean. Uh, times 100. So what we're going to do is equals, and then we're going to click on the cell with the standard deviation in it, then divided by, use a slash, the mean, and then we're going to type in star 100. Star is the symbol for times. So that's I6, the standard deviation, slash I2, divided by the mean times 100. We hit enter. Boom. So this has a 8% uh, coefficient of variation. So uh, not too wildly variant. Um, and then Pearson's second coefficient for skewness. So that, again, is the formula for the mean. So oh, we forgot to initiate equals. So equals. We're going to do parentheses, the mean minus the median, and parentheses, divided by the standard deviation. And then we need to do times 3. OK. So uh, 0.39. So this is uh, slightly skewed in the positive direction, slightly skewed skewed positive. Okay, it's definitely less than 1. Um, so it's pretty close to 0, so it's only slightly skewed. And if we looked at the histogram for this, uh, we would indeed see that it's not that skewed. Okay. All right, that concludes how to find standard deviation sample, coefficient of variation, and Pearson's second 